Hi guys, welcome back to Manifest with Armony. My name is Armony and I'm a Law of Attraction consultant. This video is to give you guys a big reminder. And this is something that we need to remind ourselves regularly um, because we're so used to, for most of our lives, most of us have been um, taught to see things differently and we equate effort with results. And though that may be the way certain physical things we do um, make sense, um, but when it comes to um, deliberately creating something in your life with by mentally tra transmuting it basically, um, by changing our vibration, shifting our vibration and changing the way we're, we're seeing things and thinking about things, um, it has nothing to do with more effort. So what I wanna say is if you, if you are looking for a reward by putting more effort or more time in, or if you're not seeing results and therefore you're um, upset that it takes too much effort um, in order to achieve results, um, then you're just not looking at this the way the universe looks at it, the way God looks at it. This is not about how much effort you're putting in. It's, it's so much easier than you are probably letting it be. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time nor effort to make huge changes around you, to make huge changes in your experiences. And I don't care what the circumstances are. I don't care how many things you want to change, how big this thing is for you. I don't care how much it means to you. It's not that hard. It's not hard to shift your vibration and to see new results. Um, you can't, if, you, if you want to think that the harder, that the more something, something means to you, or the more it feels like it's going to be difficult for things to change, then that's, then that's when you put more effort into mentally transmuting it, then that is not the way things work and you will be disappointed, you will give up, you will hate the law of attraction. Of course, once you understand it, you, it's never gone forever, that knowledge. That knowledge will always be um, coming back to you. You'll always see synchronicities and to remind you that this is the way nature works. However, you will become very upset with the process. You will become very upset feeling, hey, I deserve this though, why didn't it happen? I deserve this, why didn't it happen? Why, what is the universe trying to teach me? What am I trying to, what is the universe, why is the universe making me suffer, okay? And when you're used to thinking of spirituality and about how you know so many um, cultures and religions have portrayed it that way as when we're suffering, it's because we need to learn a lesson. But this is not about a moral lesson. The lesson is, change your vibration about it, change the way you're looking at it. That is the only lesson there is to learn. I'm gonna look in the lens right now because I'm usually looking at, at, at my screen on my phone and I'm telling you, it is not about learning anything except to switch your vibration. This is metanoia. This is what Neville Goddard speaks of. This is what repentance, true repent, repentance is. It's a radical change in attitude. If something is not going the way you want it to go and you don't know why you're suffering so much, you don't know why you're in so much torment about it and you don't know what else to do to make it better, to make it what you want it to be, what you prefer for it to be, it's time for metanoia, it's time for repentance and I don't mean anything in a moral sense in that way. There's no lesson to learn about, oh, how to, you know, you should be a better person or you should learn to treat people better. This is not about morality. This is about being mindful and knowing that everything is just like Neville says everything is you everybody and everything is you pushed out so this world is a mirror if you are seeing something you're experiencing that you don't like there is no moral lesson that you are meant to learn that's not why you keep seeing it over and over the only reason you keep seeing something over and over the only reason you may have some cycle in your life is because you are aligned with that and you have not changed it yet this is not about positive thinking. This is not about even hope. Hope is maybe along the way, you know, it's, it's, a, it's part of it, but it's about just seeing it from a different perspective. And that different perspective is the perspective of the person who's already experiencing what you prefer. Okay, so I wanna focus on when Neville said, when I know what I want, I get into that state 
and I think from it. So quotes and everything are nice when like I make memes, memes and I put them on my Instagram page or something and, and it's like, oh cool, yeah, whatever, it's a quote and sometimes it really resonates, sometimes whatever. And, and if, if, it, if you don't get it, then it just sounds like nice words. But when you get it, it's like, wow, okay? Because it's not about, oh, being impressed by something. It's just about really actually understanding what that is. Because I remember when I was younger, if I had heard that quote um, or, or similar things, you know, you can hear something, but and it makes sense and it sounds good and it sounds true. Um, but I didn't really understand before what it really meant to think from a state. I might have understood it logically or, or I could have agreed from about it, but I didn't really know that that's what creation is. That's where we are creating our experience. And as time went by, as I understood more about nature reality, as there was more testing, as more experimenting, um, as results changed so much, so much around me, I realized that it's really about allowing yourself to feel that state. And when you are thinking about anything, anything else even in life, when you are thinking about anything relating to do, relating with you, any part of your life, you are thinking about that thing from the state of already having this other thing that you want because you have now become that. You are allowing energy to flow through you as that person. So, you know, there's um, the there's a part in the I don't know if it's the the preface or the first part of the book of um, Neville Goddard's huge book. I don't remember what it's called. Something imagination, something, um, and it's like a collection of all his works, right? So, in the beginning, the person who's writing the forward, I guess it's called the forward. I don't know um, what it's called in that book, but he's saying that about how you know popular of a teacher Neville was how people swore by him and how great his works were but there's something he says in there that i disagree with and he says but can anybody do it no he says i, I don't think anybody can do it because neville was trained to relax and get into a state because he was a trained dancer and he knew how to get into that relaxed state where he can then create and it doesn't make it doesn't even make logical sense because you don't have to be a dancer or a performer to know how to relax and get your body and your mind in a state where you can now receive another vibration okay or emanate, like give out another vibration receive another vibration you and at the same time if you can learn it as a dancer or as a performer then you learned it therefore it can be learned it's a learned thing you learn how to relax your body relax your mind and to get into that state and it's not as hard as people want to make it seem there are so many people who maybe it's because that's the way they experienced it they experienced it through a, a more of a struggle and they were combining the the efforting with the slow alignment towards something so they think that okay you you it takes a long time and it's hard and it takes certain effort in other parts of your life but just go to the pure go to pure source go to the basic 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 process of relaxing your body anybody can relax their body you relax your body when you get into bed even you don't even if you don't do it on purpose when you get into bed don't you then realize how tired you are when you lay your body down don't you then realize how your body is relaxing that's enough even that's enough you don't have to become a professional you know anything in terms of controlling your body or anything to reap the benefits of um of, of getting into a state like neville did um and i want to say this because there's there's such tension sorry i just touched my microphone um there's such tension about even people who want to see things for others who want to manifest for others and um, when 
and it, it, they feel like it's hard to do and they question, can I do this? They ask me, can I do this? Well, you can do this, but if you're seeing it as a big deal, then you're not going to be doing it the way Neville taught because the way Neville taught was easy peasy. Okay. And I know that it may even seem disrespectful because if someone has an issue that they're really having trouble with and you are hurting for them, hearing that it's easy peasy is not going to make you um, feel good maybe. So that tells you just you're, that means you're vibrating very far from where you want to be in terms of seeing them, how you want to see them and from there where they want to be. If you can contemplate it easy being easy peasy and just seeing them from those eyes, you know, of you already knowing they're good, already knowing they're well, already knowing that they have that thing that they want in their life. They already have it and it being a done deal and you congratulating them or or telling them, you know, how happy you are for them or hearing them tell you the news. Um, it's, it's not complicated. It's so simple and it's nothing new because we go through this all the time in our minds, except what we're playing in our mind is that person telling us they didn't feel good. And we feel how bad that made us feel. We go through this over and over. We hear our friends say, oh yeah, you know, this happened and I'm, ugh, it's just, you know, I'm just heartbroken or, and we, what happens? We go to bed and we lay down and we feel bad because we, because we remember our friends saying this to us and remember how bad they seem to feel. And, and you know, when you say my heart goes out to them, um, what does that really mean? Because if your heart can go out to somebody and bless them and see them as, as the way they prefer to be, then they will be that you will not experience them any longer in the way that they are complaining to you about anything. They will be well because you are seeing them well. You are seeing them happy. Um, it sounds preposterous to think that just by seeing them in that way for just a moment in our mind to feel that everything is better and good for them, that that could you know, dissolve all their obstacles or what seemed obstacles and for them to actually be that which you are seeing them as now. Um, it sounds illogical, not reasonable, but we're not talking about reason here because this is not like a magical thing you are applying to, to anything. This is the way we have already created maybe what we didn't want, maybe we created this person telling us that they are in a situation that they're not happy about. We created that too. We didn't, I mean, it's not that simple because we don't just, you know, the person, if the person is aligned with their situation that they're now complaining about, then there is energy involved where they maybe feared it or they um, saw themselves as that way. And then, when they told us, we started seeing them as that way. And if we keep seeing them that way, then that's the direction they're going to go in. Um, but when you change the way you see them, then they will change. And it's not about reasoning. It's, it's about, this is how we are constantly creating our experiences. So we are constantly seeing people as the people we think they are. This is why someone who everyone might say, oh, this person's a jerk. And then, but they might come to you only in experiences where you experience them as being a kind person. And then, you know, or some people might say, oh, this person's so nice. This person's so great. But the way you experience them might be in a way where they don't really seem so nice. Why is that? That's because you're in alignment with seeing something in a way that means experiencing a person who is being this way. So that part, yeah, 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 it sounds complicated, but that's not our job. I'm explaining it like going like a little in depth, but that is not our job. We don't have to know that. All we have to know is see the person, see the person you want to see the way they want to be. Okay. And when it comes to ourselves, see yourself 
as the person that you already want to be. And again, see through the eyes of the version of you, feel through the you that you already are because you are what you want to be. It's very different. It's very different to experience life in the state of the version of you that you want to be. It is very different. Um, it may seem like a subtle difference when you're feeling through it, um, when you're laying down in bed and you're feeling through it, it feels like a subtle difference as you're not gonna feel like, wow, wow, this is so different, wow, wow. Not really, it will feel just like you're feeling your way through things. But the way that it reflects in your, I'm sorry, I have hiccups. <laughs> but the way it reflects in your life will be hugely different and a huge improvement over what you were suffering through. So there are no lessons to learn here. It is just about metanoia. It is about changing. It's a radical change in attitude, um, be it on that topic or maybe overall in life, you know, just change your attitude about that one thing. That is why you sinned and you sin. Sin means miss the mark. You miss the mark because you were seeing it through not having it. Okay see it through having it already and that will be unfamiliar to you when it is something that you've never had before and you all you can do and all you need to do is just wonder be like become like a child right wonder what it's like and then you will know you'll see from those eyes if you guys like this video please click like and i'll